Hey guys, Grimey here and welcome to my Iron Man Impossible video series. We just finished a, an abduction mission on a street hurricane in Argentina and that was our last abduction for the month. Um, we finished both council missions, we finished the terror mission. I'm pretty sure that's all the missions in April. Like maybe Newfoundland? I'm not even sure about that one. But yeah, so we're just gonna scan. Uh, we're gonna get uh, alien base assault up at the end of the month. And we should be, yeah, that, we should be good. Let's go. Satellite uplink complete. There we go, we can build the skeleton key. We're gonna start researching beam weapons so we can get heavy lasers out. I've got a hunch as to how we might get into that facility. Oh, we're short Just give the word, and I'll begin manufacturing the key immediately. So our workshop sh should be finishing in time. We might miss it, which would be terrible. There must be terrible. some way to get into that base. But, um, yeah. See, I usually play March Satellite Rush, so I always have enough engineers. It never occurred to me that I need 15 Command. engineers for... Our satellite is prepped and standing by for launch. We are ready to deploy it on your orders. Satellite, satellite uplink facilities at maximum capacity. Additional uplink required. Now that we got a uh, continent bonus, let's sell a bunch of stuff and... A bunch of stuff and buy foundry and OTS upgrades. Scope. Tactical rigging. I'll send word to the foundry crews now. You can follow their progress remotely from the project team in engineering. And we need 25 for a skeleton key, so. Alright, we're good. Let's scan and pray the workshop comes in time. Online. Additional workshop okay, we've got three. The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're all we don't know how long until we run out of time. Looks like Marcos, uh, who was injured, managed to get back into the team just in time for our mission. I'm gonna try to taser the, uh, He's Dexroid Commander because he has an alien grenade. To a lesser extent because of uh, research credits. Strike one. Prepare. We're expecting heavy resistance. They're probably moving into position as we speak. Affirmativo. Target confirmed. On our way. I'll pick up the pace. Alright, so alien base assault. Uh, you know, it's very predictable. There's no wandering. Well, there's I don't. There's not many wandering pods of aliens, and the ones and they're fair. They're spread out far enough that you don't need to worry about triggering too many at once. So as long as you take it slowly, it should be a very easy mission to clear. Um, other than that, I might have some tricks later on. If I do remember any tricks uh, or tips or tricks, I'll po post the link at this point in the video, and you can just jump to whenever I mention them. Otherwise, I don't think this is a very interesting video to watch because base assault is just just so slow and you just inch forward and you just kill everything. But yeah. Oh shit. Trigger the chrysalids. Shoot the chrysalids. Oh, come on guys. You guys shoot. More overwatch. Yes! Dead. Ah, the sniper has no line of sight, which is which is pathetic. Alright. What do we do? We want to get our colonel heavy promoted. I'm gonna take one shot because then I can I can all grenade immediately afterwards. Uh I want my assault to go here. So I don't want to completely surround the uh, chrysalids because I want to be throwing a grenade potentially. So I moved it here, I would always hit a soldier with a grenade. So yeah. Ah, that crystal is dead. Got him. Um, yeah, we're just gonna move our snipers up. Remember, we want to give the kill to our 
major so we can get Colonel rank for Mayhem. Alright, I want you to take note of the formation I'm setting up. My assault will be in position to uh, rush forward. My three heavies will all have rockets to shoot out, and the snipers in the back will have line of sight onto whatever aliens are across this door. Sounds like we're dealing with floaters. Did you hear that? But you might have to spend rockets again. You know, they get evasion when they fly, so they're just hard to shoot. Enemy troops. Yep, floaters. Ooh, that's okay. So Zhang can shoot one of them. We have a. Uh, we hit three with a danger zone rocket. That's the question. We're gonna move up our on the move. assault to see what's going on. We can't see the one on top, unfortunately. I don't want to move too far ahead because it might trigger more aliens. Okay, so. Yeesh, yeesh. You're in a terrible position now, aren't you? If I move up here, I should they shouldn't have line of sight on this. Moving out. Yeah, there we go. Shot failed to connect. We're shooting on the one on the right hand side, because maybe we can rock it and get both on the left. If the one on the right side. There we go. Uh, we have two danger zone rockets, so maybe we can spare one. I really don't like floaters, they're pretty. Like, like plasma rifles are pretty deadly when I only have conventional armor. I don't know if I want to spend a... a danger zone rocket. For a chance to guess, I can kill. You know what? I'm gonna do it because risk averse, right? I have two. Why not? Let's go. Please don't fail me now. Yes, double kill. All right. Um, rule of thumb for most maps: you want to exploit all the doors that you can because they're your best weapon. Doors are your best weapon. So we're just going to shift over to the left hand side and exploit that door. Enemy inside. It's nothing like base defense, which is like all action all the time. Alright, so our anti-seeker weapon is the assault, right? She has 100% accuracy on overwatch shots that are within, like, point blank range. So, we surround everyone around her. The Seeker can't uh, try to grapple the Assault, so the Assault will definitely have a shot. They'll do at least 3 damage. Now our re remaining soldiers just need to, like, at least one of them needs to land a hit, basically. They are moving around the side. There we go. They are moving around the side. Down. 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 Um, once again, the assault has aggression, so we want to move her first. Okay. And just pop a good little in the face a few times. Okay, that's one down to down to kill range. Will do. Uh, we want to move Zhang up next. The reasoning being, uh, he doesn't have a grenade, so. Good, that one's in grenade kill rate range. Alright, I'm gonna probably use the grenade from the Major because he has the lowest accuracy. Additionally, um, I want to get killed to him if possible. Oh shit. Alright, we just need this. Yeah, we still have a guaranteed kill, we have multiple grenades. 
But uh, if this hit misses, I'm gonna have to use two grenades. So. Okay, good. We don't need to use two grenades. Get one more guaranteed kill with a gun. Just, oh, it doesn't hurt to like divvy up the XP a little more evenly. And then finish off the grenade. Once again, crystals don't drop up in fragments, so. Grenade to your heart's content. Sounds like two are there to our right. Notice how all my heavies are in range to rocket either either perch. There we go. Ooh, shit. Stop being cowardly. Get over here. What was that? Uh, young clothes. I might take the initiative. That's uh. Heading there now. There you are. Son of a bitch. Uh, I'm gonna send a heavy up since heavies have heat ammo. They're more likely to kill. Ugh, that accuracy is not good. You don't have a shot? Headed there now. Oh my god. And the thing is, it's probably not worth. Moving. I've been covering that area. It's probably not worth the rocket to kill the seeker. It's probably gonna go back in the cloak and try to strangle one of us again. I went back in the cover because you could take plasma fizzle shot since he's on cloak. We'll see. Get over here. Hurry up. There you go. Watch this not kill him. No longer a threat. Alright. Looks like we cleared it. Reloaded. Alright. Time to get everyone back in position. On the move. Heading to that location. Поехали. That's affirmative. I'm covering that area. I'm on the prize. Got the last one on the All the heavies are in rocket range of the next next area we want to reveal, and we reveal. To that location. And we see nothing. That's always good. Heading out. I'm going. Moving to position. I'm covering that area. Huh. That sounds like more seekers. To our right hand side. Okay. Moving. Got it covered. I'm going. Inch. Inch, inch. This is Death Valley. You can move three tiles and trigger like two positive aliens. They're, they're, they're so tightly packed in here. And they're like all crystals. It's, it's a terrible place to engage. What could they possibly be storing in those tanks? Alright. So, one curiosity of this map is. Uh, your sniper on the left side can't shoot to the right side, which is terrible. Um, maybe it'd be better to just stand, leave them standing on the corners. That's probably not a bad idea. That's it. Can I do that? I probably have a better line of sight from here. First one's to the left on the high platform. I hear seekers to the right. Moving. See nothing? Come back. Keep on going. What's making that noise? So I know they're there. I'm gonna get everyone in position. Deal with the next pot of crystal at them. Going to be triggering. Maybe tempted to hopscotch these uh, high cover elements, but that might not be the best idea because. 
Um, like going this far might be enough to trigger multiple pods. So we're gonna go halfway, play extra conservative. See nothing? And then we'll we'll go to the pod the next turn. The aliens, the food thingy. Shh. I think I heard. I think they're called alien food. Let's go. Eyes on target. Go, go, go. I don't want to advance further than I need to, so I'm going to uh, rapid fire from this location. Oh, what? Okay. We're going to take all the shots we want. So he's down to four, so shredder. Shredder is definitely an option right now. Nailed him. Shredder is looking like a very attractive option. Or we could just shoot him dead. We'll have five more shots and we'll save a Shredder rocket just in case. Uh, yeah, we'll use that since his Shredder rocket is least valuable. Oh my god, I swear if you miss. Actually, it doesn't matter. Looks like we're probably going to be expending our Shredder Rocket to get the last kill. Probably. Or not. Okay. That works too. Locked and loaded. Because it is yours. I have it covered. Locked and loaded. Okay, so we're dealing with Seekers on the right-hand side next. So we're, we're going to reposition everyone before we advance. You hear that? Uh -huh. Our heavy should all have rocket on sight, that's why I didn't put a heavy right next to Zhang. If I had put a heavy right, right between Zhang and my uh, Major, uh, this guy would not have line of sight with his rocket to the uh, northeast area. I'm gonna advance Moving. with our. Target acquired. Oh, that was not the sound for our secret, that was the sound for a drone. Anyways, point is, we have line of sight with our rockets. Should we choose to use them? Probably not in this case. 72. What's your aim? 82. Okay, so. Probably, yeah, outside your range. Alright, alright, alright. I'll take the double shot of pistol. No way that just happened. Ah, uh, well. Ah, uh, well. What can you do? At least they're drones. I think I can take all the time I want with drones. Actually, I probably should have headshot. Hindsight. There we go. Seventy-five percent. It's about sixty percent chance to kill. That's alien base for you in a nutshell. Just inch forward. I'm on it. I'm gonna rush the uh, the snipers down because we're probably gonna be advancing soon. Heading to that location. Ready to engage. Rock and roll! I have it covered! 
Mm -hmm. Maybe I should have left the sniper on the high ground. Would have been safer. But I'm only facing sectoids, so. So, so whatever. On task. I don't think we're alone out here. Moving to position. Oh, I haven't been spotted yet. This may be a great opportunity to use a rocket. Uh, shoot. He's blocking the rocket shot. <laughs> How are our snipers? Okay. How many shredders do we have? One, two, three. Funny. Let's blow them up. Probably didn't need to do that, but you know. They can't crit for six, which is enough to like two shot my soldiers, I guess. Heading to that location. Is there something up there? Probably is in there. Alright, I'm gonna go based on the assumption that there's something up there. Everybody. What's up there? What's up? Nothing? What? I'm okay. here? What be? Here they come. Oh, okay. Drones. What if you got shot? 72? 257% shots, I'll take it. Miss. Damn it, the enemy is still alive. Ooh. Yeah, they're just drones. I don't mind exposing no cover to some drones. Like, what's the worst they can do? They can't kill any of my soldiers in a single shot. So, as long as I kill one of them. And we do. I'm just gonna reinforce with Overwatch. Heading to that location. Yeah, boy. I'm rolling. Baby, I'll handle it. I'm on a five. Good lid. Here they come. Yeah, I'm not worried about them. I still try to rock it and plenty of grenades. I'm just gonna worry about the drone. He's gonna come by, he's gonna take a pot shot on one of us. Or he's gonna run away like a bitch. Okay. So obviously the biggest threat are the chrysalids. They're the only thing that can only things that can really kill us. So uh what do we do? What do we do? You're out of rockets, so you should shoot. Ooh, we don't want you to kill anything yet. Dang. Yeah, let's move Zhang. Probably the best option in this case. Are we gonna grenade like this? Okay. So this tile here should be safe. So should this one. Let's move up our That's assault. Affirmative. Rapid fire. Kill confirmed. Negative ammo. I'm spent. Kill you. Kill confirmed. You don't have rocket left, so we might as well shoot with you. Also, we want him to get promoted since he's a major. He said that already so many times. Or maybe just once. And I don't even remember. Remember. Boom. That went well. Didn't even need to use explosives. 
pretty sure that only leaves the sectoid commander left. So I'm gonna show you a trick on how to deal with the sectoid commander. I'm gonna take a sniper. So the thing with headshot on a conventional sniper rifle is it does eight to 10 damage. A sectoid commander has 14 HP. So we reduce him, if we hit a 10, that he's up to four. So we throw a grenade that, leaves, that brings him down to one. If we hit a nine, we launch a shredder rocket that brings him down to one. Also very good. If we hit a an eight, we just shoot a shredder rocket and we bring him down, bring him down to two, and we just say close enough, right? So that's basically it. We're gonna get our arc thrower uh, people up close. Moving to position. All of our arc thrower guys have like she has seven HP, and Zhang has lots of HP. Point is that he can tank a shot. Headed there now. When it comes down to it. Our sniper is going to be here. Uh, we're going to move one heavy here. That alien is clearly different from the others. It's wielding a power unlike anything we've previously encountered. So this corner spot right here is a sweet spot where we can see the sectoid commander, but he can't see us. So, yeah, that's a good spot. Heading there now. I'm going to end our turn here. We're going to pop off a headshot. This might miss, but if it misses, it shouldn't like make the sectoid commander freak out. But it has a 100% crit chance, so we're guaranteed some damage between 8 and 10. Hopefully 9 or 10. We get 9, now we just shred her. Looks sharp, the enemy's rolling up! Looks like he ran back as far as he can. Who has a shredder? You have a shredder. And... Kapow. Lanzando. Good, good, good. Now we just bring our moving on target two arc thrower guys into position. Affirmative, moving out. And retreat everyone else back because we don't really need them anymore. Actually, we'll leave you. You have a useful tool in the form of a battle scanner. Now we know what he's gonna do. He might come up and he might mind control uh, one of our guys, but like, whatever. Don't mind control. Don't mind control. Don't mind control. Oh, he's gonna mind control. Well, that's unfortunate. That is super duper unfortunate. Okay. Correct play is here. They should be there. Run the fuck away. Hide behind. Uh, uh, hide outside of line of sight. Wherever you can. Uh, this particular soldier doesn't have any great options, does she? Nope. Nope, she does not. I think we're gonna move here. If you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then let's move up one higher. Rolling out. I'm ready to move. How aggressive is the AI with with the heavy? <laughs> um million dollar plus room right now, isn't it? Let's see if this spot might be here. Might be. So I don't think he's gonna drop down. In fact he can't. Unless he drops here. In which case I'm still safe. Yeah, here's the here's the good play. Here is the play. Full cover right in this corner. Okay, we're safe. We need to tank an overwatch to get in position. On the move. Fortunately, we're still out of range of arc thrower, which is like complete garbage. 
Oh my god, that is terrible. Okay, we'll do what we can. I don't know where my mind control heavy is. Actually, I do. He's still up here, isn't he? Somewhere up here. Um, the correct play in this case, break line of sight. Back online. I'm not worried about the commander. He might shoot down, he might do 6 damage, but I am worried, extremely worried about the heavy up here. So I'm gonna go somewhere where okay. my assault can't get shot. Actually, that was a bad move, now I can't arc up there. I'm gonna toss the battle scanner, keep an eye on my heavy. Sup? They're starting to lose ground. Run around, take a shot on the heavy. They have me flanked. Or, uh, yeah, that's better. Mind freak? Oh, side panic. Someone help! That's affirmative. Oh god, no. They're Fuck you. Wait, wait, wait. He does have line of sight. Yes! Yes! Wait, he does. Yes! Just as good. Fuck. Okay. This better work. Disabling target. That was close. That was closer than it should have been. Like we're finally turning the tide. And the problem now was... Captured their device. The aliens are running out of secrets. The problem was the, the shredder rocket guy. He was too close to the edge. Now that we've captured this device, okay, guys, jump. The problem was if I moved the two top back, I still would have sh had the shot to hit the the secular commander. But I would not have gotten mind controlled. That should not have been that dicey. I screwed up, but no. the alien base assault should be a smooth map so long as you play carefully. Get impatient like I did. Then you can get screwed. Anyways, thank you for watching. I hope to see you guys on the next video.